Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 26, part 14 of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, our plane has finally arrived in the Asia region, but unfortunately, we weren't able to get our plane over into Australia in time. So our plane basically is now waiting to take off again from the airfield here in Saigon. But in order to do that, we need to supply it with fuel, tools, and food. Which, thankfully, my vehicles are currently doing right now. I, pick I have eight tools being picked up. There's one, there's basically two units of food. Speaking of which, I need a basic. Wait a minute. How come this, this is train AE1? It's only picking up one unit of food? Hopefully, it will be a little different on the return trip. We're still waiting on fuel, but our passenger service is still going pretty well. And our loan should almost be completely done, but we still need a little more time. We're almost full to the brim with fish. We're dead again, but it won't be for too long. Now. We need to get started on making some tools. Thankfully, there's a tool factory not too far from the ocean here, near the town of Brunel. We could basically connect this to the harbor this way, and then just place down a small trucking depot right beside the logging, right beside the lumber mill and one right next to the logging camp here on the island. I'll place down a depot, and then do this, and this, have a full load, and it's gonna basically just deliver stuff here. We are not gonna basically make custom named services from this point on, as we need to get this done. Let's see, 790 credits. That is, that is not good. Uh, there we go. Much better. And then we'll need a ship to carry the lumber overseas to the factory in Saigon. And another one to basically drop off the loads of tools to the factory, to the drop-off point near the airfield. I guess I'll have to borrow some more money, I guess. Alright. With that done, we'll need to set up another route. We'll pick up loads of lumber from the harbor in Brunel. Brunel and deliver to Saigon, but we're only unloading there. Then we'll set up another route to pick up loads of lumber and deliver it, well, pick up a load of tools and deliver it down to the har to the dockside in Brunei. That will basically take care of the lumber, take care of the tools. Now, for oil, we'll need f food. Thankfully, there's a food processing plant located here in Batavia, super close by. So, we'll need about a large cargo port built super close nearby here. And I'll need a large one to pick up the rice from the plantation here on this island. So, it'll pick up a full load of rice, or drop it off here at the harbor at the Pacifica, and then pick up the loads of food and then drop it off in Brunei. You're gonna pick up food only, and you're gonna drop it off. That basically means we'll need to set up about four new service, operate about four ships. As for the cargo, we're going to basically use these, again, to pick up the logs and bring them over to the lumber mill. 
and let's see, how much will I need for those four cargo ships? I'll need about nine million credits, but I'll get it up to ten. But will this ship actually carry rice? Yes, it will. Good. You go pick up lumber, you take tools, you pick up rice. Oh, wait. Hang on. Let's see. I said both shifts onto that service when I just need one to pick up food. With that done, now we'll need to figure out how to deliver fuel. As the only fuel source available is here in Calcutta, it will probably be too long to deliver fuel. So, we'll have to build a fuel and connect to this fuel refinery here in Port Darwin. I'll have to take out a little bit of another loan. I'll connect to this oil refinery here, well, this oil field located within, on, in the inlands on this island. And I'll have a pair of these here located at the, near Singapore. Alright, now for the new services. You pick up oil. You deliver it to Singapore. You pick up a full load. Bring it down to Port Darwin. And then you pick up the fuel and deliver it to Brunel. But thankfully, though, once this plane is flying again, all it just needs to do is just fly to Makassar. Uh, Mak we'll fill it up with, with everything from the region around here, and then the plane will fly into Port Darwin. Let's see. So I'll need three new ships to work on this operation. You carry raw oil, carry refined oil, and you pick up fuel. Now all we just need to do is just deliver some tools. Let's basically send the train here to deliver its load of tools to the, to the Saigon airfield. Actually, I don't think the foodstuffs will be very useful there. So I'll just fill it up here at Saigon, at Ragoon instead. We still need to get some fuel in there. That ship of oil should have had basically left by now. Yep. It's on its way along the coast. But once it arrives at its destination, it will process the oil it the well process the oil into fuel. That train will pick up the oil, fuel and bring it down to Saigon's airfield. We need all the food and, while tools and food can be at a certain level, I need to deliver a large amount of fuel. And with my ships now in full service, it won't be long before we can supply the airfield here at Brunel. We already got rice being processed here, and then we already got logs waiting to be picked up here at this logging camp. And since these logging camps require one unit of logs to produce one unit of lumber, 
we'll basically be making about 120 units of lumber. This ship will have to wait patiently for the tools to arrive, as well as the food being processed. But once we're done here, we'll just need to then basically set up the routes to deliver the supplies down here to Madagascar. Once that is all set and done, then the plane will basically fly itself into Australia. We only have one unit of food on board. That's not really great. But, however, with well, not nice 11 tools, that should basically help the airplane out a bit. But one unit of food is not going to cut it. The food stuff is starting to be processed slowly here. But it's going to take a while for it to be made. As for the oil itself, it will need a little bit of a longer transit time. Speaking of which, did I not stop operating my shipping service across the seas? Oh yeah, I ha I'm not using this ship anymore, nor am I using this one. That should bring back some money into my bank account, which I'll be using to pay off most of my debt, which is now at 865 million credits. Okay, if I'm able to get it down to one, down as much as I can, that will be fine. But one thing's for sure: once the plane takes off from Saigon, all the Asia region trains and vehicles will be discontinued. As now I'll be focusing entirely on shipping to get the last few supplies delivered to their destinations. The port is the oil field near here is basically starting to fill up. Hmm. Well, it's rolling in now to pick up its lumber. Shouldn't be too long. The trucks are already making their way down the road, though I think these trucks are a little bit too slow. I'll better switch them over to this. As now with 19 miles an hour, they'll be able to get their deliveries done a little more faster. Hmm. Still one unit of food. But there's now three units of food waiting down at Ragoon. Let me think. What else can I do? Well, it's actually going to be a while before my plane will basically fly into this island. So, I'm actually going to cut this video right here. And I'll see you all in just a bit once our plane is finally taken off. And we're back. After delivering the last needed supplies, our airport has finally reached level 1, and our plane is now ready to fly. Now, we could fly back to the other countries, but we need to basically fly as close as we can to our next destination. Which, I actually could fly to Makassar already, which is quite surprising. Well, might as well try it means the supplies that I set up is no longer needed. I also want to basically state that I've actually been, well, as you have seen in my recent thumbnails, you have seen some very cool looking uh, thumbnails for my videos. Well, particularly for this series. Alright. Since we have flown over land more than water, our plane is basically going to be okay for now. As long as we don't get it below to zero, then we'll be okay. We just have to do is just try to get at least one metal. Anyways, so, how I do it is simple. Right here is the camera tool. If I can click on it, I can actually use the camera around. And I can also change on how far the camera goes. 
from the game's camera to 400 millimeters. I set it to basically 6 1920 by 1080, but I could basically do something kind of cool. If I could just get the right, there we go. If I could just get a good angle from the side. I just click on this, and it will save an image to my computer. So that way, you all will now have seen on how I created these custom thumbnails from this particular episode. Flowing over water once again, but thankfully though, we have just enough to fly over this particular region to reach Port Darwin. However, our plane has now have to stop here in Magadisar, and we have nothing here at the airfield. So, we'll have to get started on transporting supplies here. But once that is done, we'll be flying once again. So, this is going to take another while, actually, as we're going to get this mission done today. So, I'm going to actually cut this video right here. And, we're back. After so long, we are now able to finally fly to Port Darwin. Once the plane arrives, we have finally completed the entirety of the campaign. Both vanilla and modded. Oh, it's been quite an adventure. Although we didn't make enough money to basically pay off our debt, we at least were able to get it down to 850 million credits. But now, all we just need to do is see our plane fly over the water, and then fly to Port Darwin. Which, thankfully, since the plane is going to be... Well, since we have managed our plane to not fly over so much water, we'll be able to get a medal for this. We fly over the islands one more time, and as our plane finally heads into Port Darwin. And with that, we have finally done it. Every single mission in both the vanilla and modded campaigns fully complete. And I have to say, we did a dang good job. Congratulations. You are the first pilot to ever fly from Britain to Australia. Upon arrival at Port Darwin, you are met by a crowd of thousands of spectators. Your flight fundamentally demonstrates that distance is no longer a defense for Australia. We can now travel the world. Britain Wait, aims to establish airmail routes to the far ends of its massive empire. Your flight proved that it is possible to introduce a mail service by air between London and Australia. Establish this airmail service and make sure Port Darwin is supplied with at least 15 units of mail from London. You can build new aircraft at Hounslow Heath Aerodrome in London. Airports become available to you after acquiring landing rights. Wait, this is not the end? What? That doesn't make sense! How is this? Oh. Uh, well, it seems like that this is not the end of the mission. So now we have to start transporting mail as well. Well, for one thing, I'm getting rid of. I'm selling this airplane off. But it looks like we'll have to basically focus on trying to get airplanes to deliver mail. Uh. Well, it won't be too difficult, I suppose. Well, I might as well just buy the airports that actually require landing right that are in England. It's, if we are able to deliver mail to every particular uh, region of the map that has British ties, then we'll be able to earn some money. But with that being said, we can at least now buy aircraft. The only plane available is the Junkers F-13 airplane. Though, I kind of wish I didn't sell that special airplane, though. But it's able to carry at least six units of mail. So, we'll have to deliver at least six units of mail all the way from, well, basically, Australia, which is here, which has 
mail to London all the way across the ocean. So, we're actually going to pick up mail here at Darwin. And then we're going to fly it all the way over to England. Hopefully it won't be limited by range. And then it's just going to drop off the mail. We'll need an airplane. We'll need about some cash to do so. Oh! What?! Airplane cannot depart airport because the airport is lacking necessary supplies. Oh, you have got to be joking me. Oh. Well, I'm afraid this is going to go on a little bit longer than expected. Because now we have airplanes flying. Every airport needs to be supplied with food and everything else. So, in Heinz... In a sense, we need to basically get every airport restarted with delivering supplies. But, however, the planes were no longer limited by, basically, distances. Oh, right, this airplane needs to have more supplies available. But, I'm pretty sure we could just do some basic services just to get everything back up line. So... I guess this will basically do it for today's episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on the on-site schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!